Hello everyone, I am the Blue Dwarf and welcome to episode 11 of Terra Firma Rescue. Now in today's episode we are going to be making some shears because in between episodes, we were, or in the comments of one of the previous episodes, I was told very kindly by a viewer that if we make a pair of shears we can break leaves very fast and it doesn't cost any durability from the shears so we don't have to worry about using up material. Now, the other thing that we were, also, we were also told that if we put things in our backpack, they won't cool down, which is a bit of a ch bit cheaty, um, but it can be useful so that we're for uh, making things like this when we want to keep the items hot and we're trying to do other things at the same time, and it does help. So we can grab our iron out of here. Just going to heat this uh, heat this one up. And we're making some more glue in our Dixie because we'll be using that. That's probably well, we will be needing lots of that for different things. Discovered that we can use that to make slime balls and slime balls and string to make rope. So we don't actually need to go find jute fibers. We can go and make uh, some rope very quickly with our glue, and that will allow us to make some uh, animals. But I don't know if we'll have time for that in today's episode. So let's carry on and make up these iron shears we can take the iron that we have in here and we can put that in there still so what we're going to do is we're going to make two knives knife blades so for this one we need to hit it hard and then draw it twice no we need to draw it twice and then hit it hard that's that's the order that we want it in so if we go all the way over here draw draw okay so we need further that way draw draw and hammer or oh, close so drink shrink draw draw hammer oh too far so if we upset it shrink it draw draw mm, too f draw draw hammer oh, so close uh, that I think that would have been the double there so draw draw mm. And we need to heat it back up again. See, that's the thing about this not perfect system. And it will take a few times to try. But we need to make two of these blades anyway, so that's fine. But we only want to work two ingots because it makes the make it so that the item is worked. I believe until it goes back into a ingot form. So if we line these two up and we go shrink, shrink, draw, draw, hammer, we end up one to the right. So what we want to do, if we do that, shrink, shrink, draw, draw, hammer, then we get our knife blade. Perfect. And we can go here and pick up our item, we can take that one out there too, and just stick those in there. So take this other one that has already started to been worked, make our knife draw draw so so that's perfectly lined up so if we line it up like that shrink shrink draw draw hammer and we have our two knife blades so just checking in on here we will leave that going with a single piece of extra coal in there to get our dixie still going but for the moment we will quench our knife blades now you can also see we're starting to get a smithing bonus on those and what we can do see is that that is because our skills are increasing so we've got expert at uh, agriculture adept at cooking and we're still on novices on all the rest now we can take these and we can oh we might need to actually heat these back up again um yes we need to heat these back up again i'm just i didn't mean to quench them that early Never mind, we can just heat those back up and we've made some more glue at the same time. So wait for those to heat back up. So it has started raining, but we can grab our knife blades out of there before they melt. And we can take those and we can make a set of shears. So we can shrink those up a bunch of times. Hit, hit, hit. And let's see. There we go. And we have ourselves a set of shears. Now we can take those out and just stick those in there for the moment. And we've still got our Dixie going. And we'll just leave that to process up in there. But if we take our shears, and we've also grab, grabbed our axe, 
we should be able to really quickly yes that's very nice really quickly break up the leads and it takes off no durability from the shears so we can do this really quickly and will save us a lot of time on make on uh, collecting up the leaves and farming up our trees so that's going to allow us to really ramp up our charcoal production obviously you might have noticed that we have planted a we planted a bunch of trees so we can just go along like this and go like this we might even i think we're going to what we're going to do now is we are going to actually set up a proper tree farm we have cut down all the trees that we had outside and that has got on us a lot of hickory logs and we got more than enough more than double the amount of saplings that we used to plant all that up and also loads of sticks and the nice thing is that didn't use any durability from the shears we can do that all, as many times as we want the only thing is using the axe so what we can do with that now is we would have to make many many log piles to store all of this so what we're going to do is we are going to quickly going to uh, just I guess we'll put some of the sticks away to give us some inventory room we can take this and we can make up some chests now if I remember correctly to make up chests we take the planks like that and sticks across like that there we go so we can make up a absolute load of chests I think what we're going to need to have uh, most of all new is we're going to need to make a new hammer because I think that's going to what's just broken yep so that's just broke in our hammer so what we're going to do is we're going to make up a full set of where is it uh, storage we're going to make a full set of 32 chests because we're going to make them into proper minecraft chests the way that we make these chests into the regular minecraft chests is taking a full bucket of the creosote oil and then we can take that and then it will get us a minecraft chest now with a minecraft chest like that don't know why that's glitched out like that we can place that down and we can place things like logs inside whereas with the terra firma craft chests we cannot place logs inside so this is going to make our storage a lot easier it also means that we get the full 27 slots in each chest and we can make those double chests so we'll end up having the same a lot, a lot more storage space compared to the terra firma craft ones so we're going to make those as many of these up into the regular chests as possible we have made all of those up into regular minecraft chests and that means that we can go to the storage and we can turn in that quest and that means we get 16 rich cassiterite which is tin i believe yes that is our tin ore and then what we can also do is we will be able to go through and change all of our chests into minecraft chests and have a lot more storage and also mean that we can put all of our logs into a single chest like this to save us on all these log pile space so i have laid out our tree farm and we can take our raw iron chisel and we're going to make up a bunch of bricks as it lags out for a second and apparently it really doesn't like us making these bricks there we go so we can stick those in the middle and we're going to split the mortar as such and split those up and we should make a bunch of conglomerate bricks now we can lay those out and this will be where we'll plant the saplings oh misplacing oh misplacing all over the place so i'll have to grab my pickaxe and fill take take away those blocks and then we'll be able to go along and plant up our saplings but whilst we uh, do that in a second what we're going to do is we're going to have it so that we can have a walkway going across so we can reach these high up leaves so i'm thinking go at least four blocks up if not i think five blocks so we've gone up one block there so and we can jump up these and we should be able to take that block away yep we can and do the same here and is that going to break that's going to break all of that okay so we're going to have to be a bit careful of how we're using these 
that's all built up now so we can climb up here when the trees are all grown up and we'll be nice and high up to get these really when the leaves grow up really tall and we can even jump up and possibly jump onto the logs if there's if they're really big trees and we can go along with our shears and just get all of the leaves now you have to be a little bit careful getting down here so that you don't take full damage as it is five blocks in total tall so these guys have got seven days left until they grow up and then we will be back to check on them and obviously if that causes problems with where that is in terms of the how these trees grow then we can just change it up but that is something we can address now for the rest of the episode i want to try and make the blast furnace to try and make some steel now in order to do that we need some fire bricks and to make the fire bricks we need the fire clay which takes craylonite powder and graphite now we have a bunch of graphite but we do we're pretty much out of craylonite so we need to go mine up some more of that which is why we've got that marked on there and each layer needs 12 iron plates to uh, iron sheets to be able to function and also we need four iron plates for the blast furnace and we also need fire clay to make another crucible because this needs one crucible for the blast furnace and another crucible to actually work we also want another set of bellows so we're going to try and find some animals along the way but basically we're going to do some mining for a second to gather up some materials so we've gotten back from our mining trip and we are just setting another lot of iron going we were able to mine up some rich iron so or rich limonite so that will also mean that we're able to get more out of our charcoal and there we go and so that will be I don't know, around 700 units rather than 600 units that we've been getting. And it means that we'll probably. Oh, and I didn't quite want to do that. But never mind. Um, I was just going to say that we can use the raw iron that's also left over in that cast. So we can put our chuckle away. We've got more rich limonite. Didn't collect up much though. Got loads of porcelain because it was in between the quailonite that we were able to gather up. Now we've gathered up a fair amount because we might as well. So we can stick this in here and we can grind it up and we'll be able to mix that all up with graphite as well. Got a bit of a project chest going but we can grab the graphite as well and the clay and we're going to make up a bunch of fire clay. Taking our quailonite powder, our clay and our graphite we can then get a bunch of fire clay and that's what we get half stack and now with that we can create a new crucible and now we'll be able to use that for crafting the blast furnace we can do that already with the iron plates that we have and uh, taking our hammer so our hammer our crucible and four raw iron plates and we have our blast furnace now we've also already got a crucible for going underneath the blast furnace because that's the way it works and then we will need some of the fire bricks now we'll need four fire bricks for each or four actual fire brick blocks for each layer that we want to have though we're going to be more limited on the raw iron sheets as we need 12 sheets per layer so we can start off with just five of these so we need to uh, just um, two times this recipe so we need 10 bricks in total now that basically means we can get one two three four five and we will have to cook those up in here and we'll have to do two batches and that's all right because i was thinking of making up another coke oven where we'll need to cook up some more clay bricks anyway. So I've been making up a bunch of iron as you can see here and what we need to do is we're going to take two of these and we are going to two of these plates and we are going to weld them together that will get us a double plate and with that we can make a tira and for this we need to end it off with a bend or two bends so we line it up, ups, uh, upset, draw, draw, bend, bend. Oh, 
we'll get there eventually. Get it lined up so we want to draw it, bend, bend. So we need to be slightly opposite, so just draw it, bend, bend, and there we go, we got our Tura. So that will be used in our Blast Furnace, and to finish off the Blast Furnace we need a total of 12, uh, 12 plates. So we can just quickly make up the rest of those. So I believe we have one, so that's all the plates we'll need, and the rest of those ingots will just stay in there. And we'll leave that, uh, leave our Dixie in there as always, constantly producing bits of glue. So we can take a blast furnace, a crucible, and we can cool down these plates off very quickly. And we should come out with having 12. So that will be enough for one layer of the blast furnace. So we'll only be able to produce four ore at a time. Now, we also need to grab our blocks from inside. Fire clay. And we can take that. And if we put the fire clay in the center with our mortar, we can have produce four bricks. Now, if we take that over here for a moment, because we get, I think we're going to set it up over here and we are starving. Now that we're not dying of starvation, we can build our blast furnace. So we need a crucible. Uh, at the bottom and then we need the blast furnace should be able to place the blast furnace on top of there maybe we need to place the bricks first so place one brick there and all around and take that one away still doesn't want to uh, be placed down so we have to place the 12 iron sheets And now, now it will be placed down and we put our Tura in there as well. Now what we need to do is we need to get four pieces of ore, four pieces of charcoal and four pieces of flux and that way we will be able to make some steel. So we've also just temporarily stolen the bellows from our other place and we can place those down there because we'll need to be able to pump the bellows to make it hot enough. Now we can go up here and we can throw in four pieces of iron, four pieces of charcoal, and four pieces of flux. Uh, I don't think I don't know how much of that went in now. Uh, what does it say in here? So charcoal went in. The ore did not go in. Oh, okay. So the ore can now go in. Flux and the ore. There we go. So that all went in. So that should say a little bit of ore, a little bit of charcoal. And we can take our fire starter and light it up. Oh, that looks good. So we'll wait for that to heat up. And we can pump the uh, bellows to heat it up. So you can also throw more charcoal into into here i just threw one extra piece in there because we always want to have the level of ore at the same or higher level than the amount of charcoal so if we keep now pumping it on the bellows because we want to get it nice and hot so we're going to need to throw in at least one more piece of charcoal there as you can see and pump it up even hotter i think more one more piece of charcoal is needed Apparently it doesn't want to go in, so maybe not. And there's nothing in here yet. So I think it has to get all the way up to the top. And then our Tura will start taking damage and the ore will start coming out. Get it really nice and hot. Ah, and the ore's flowing out, and we've got pig iron. So it is working, and that should be all of the ore. Yes, we can get one ingot of pig iron. And I think that took all of our charcoal. So we might need to do that again in the future. But we have our unshaped pig iron. Now, 
what we need to do with this is we can take it as a pig iron ingot and then we will be able to work it on an anvil into high carbon steel and take high carbon steel into a steel ingot. So we've taken the ingot out of the mold and we can work it into high carbon steel. And then into a actual steel ingot. There we go, and we have a steel ingot. Now, to actually complete the quest, we're just going to have to quickly dismantle our uh, thing for a second because it did not register when it was recording. And that's still going, but we can grab these fire bricks a second. And is that all it needed to detect? And it wants to detect the bellows and the iron plates. So we can detect those and it should give us a reward of charcoal and a loot bag. And then that will lead us onto steel and it wants us to actually do the steel ingot. So we can also submit that quest and we get two bronze ingots. And that really opens up the things a bit with rapid fire, flint and steel and mortar and wanting to make a steel anvil and then that opens up to all sorts of other things that we can do but that is all we will have time for in today's episode we will open up this loot bag quickly we got some birch saplings peach saplings and some oak saplings that'll be very useful because we can make that into the regular oak uh, trees in the regular minecraft oak trees so thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye